Hey, Shad here with SpeedAx, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and welcome to our 2022 modular helmet buying guide. So you want a modular helmet, you want that wind in your hair, you want to smoke at the stoplights, you want to talk to a passenger, I don't judge, whatever you want to do, you want the chin bar out of your way. It's a crowded field. There's a lot of great modular helmets out there. We've picked our favorite five, but by no means is this a comprehensive list. We're just gonna jump right in and tell you about our favorites today. First up, the granddaddy. Okay, this is the Mercedes-Benz, or maybe I should say Lexus, because Showy's coming out of Japan. This is still our top pick if budget is not a, a concern for you. So this helmet, $749, it starts for the solids. This guy, is not cheap, but it's ultra high quality, all handmade in Japan, five year warranty. You're getting the drop down sun visor, you're getting a flip up chin bar, getting ventilation that's really well thought out with an EPS that's ducted like an HVAC system to get you that vacuum exhaust and keep you cool. But my favorite thing about a show is just the way it feels on your head. I mean, this is just real luxury. The interior is just beautiful. They pay special attention to the neck roll and their cheek pad system to keep the sound out of the helmet. So a relatively quiet helmet for a modular. It's not necessarily the lightest, but very high quality and it's got the quick release chin strap. It is set up to use the Senna uh, integrated comms from Shoei. So, well, made by Senna, marketed by Shoei, that's made just for this helmet. So the comm system install is really easy. It's not gonna be easy on your wallet, but if you're a type of guy that rides often, you're gonna spend some hours in the sky, you're taking long rides, you want something that's gonna hold up, right? You're not just riding a couple times a year. The Neotech 2 is still the way to go for you. Next up, HJC ARFA series. This is their higher end line. Uh, if you haven't heard of ARFA, this is, you know, you've probably heard of HJC, they've been around for decades, they're the number one helmet maker by volume. But the ARFA line is a new, relatively new thing for them. So this is them competing against those other higher end helmets. The ARFA comes in a composite shell and this carbon fiber shell that you see in front of me. The carbon comes in a few colorways like this, uh, I think it's called the Ballium Blue, and then just a plain gloss carbon. The reason this is in our lineup is because it's the lightest dual sport helmet that we, or sorry, lightest modular helmet that we sell. This thing's right around three pounds. It is incredibly light for a modular helmet. So we have people calling up all day. One of the main sacrifices you make with modular helmets is the weight because there's the mechanism to raise this chin bar, right? That's, you're adding weight when you do stuff like this. Um, and I confuse my camera guy when I, when I move around like that. So when you, when you pack in this extra gear, the helmet tends to get heavy. And so what they've done is they've made an ultra lightweight, compact, low profile shell, the guys at HJC, to compensate for that extra weight from the extra equipment. This thing's Bluetooth ready and uh, their smart HJC's smart system, also made by Senna, plugs right in. They've got the battery pack there and the rest of it's super plug and play, installs in seconds. Micro suede liner, five year warranty from HJC on the whole ARFA line. Just really sweet place to be and compact. Modular helmets tend to make you look a little bit like Jack in the Box and this one doesn't. You can just see, very low profile. So if you're looking for light, this is the way to go. Also not inexpensive. It's about $100 less than the Shoei, 639. Uh, to 670, depending on which flavor you get of the ARFA 90 carbon, the composite is a fair bit less. Moving on, most modular helmets flip up at 90 degrees, so the chin bar's out of your way to do your business, gas up, whatever, um, but it's not meant to be ridden that way because it's gonna drag, it's gonna be weird weight balance with that up stacked up high on your head. So a few helmet manufacturers decided to solve that problem. For guys that do want to take the flip-up helmet on the go in the open configuration, and the LS2 uh, Valiant 2 is one of those helmets. So this is a full flip-top helmet, so you can actually cruise like this. You're not getting the same sort of protection, uh, of course, because now you're in an open face configuration, but you do have flexibility in your riding styles, and uh, when you're ready to go, you just pull this guy right back over your head, and you're back in the full face configuration. So Valiant 2 is one of our favorite picks for that flip top. The price range kind of middle of the road, right at like 349 for the solid gloss colors. And it moves up from there depending on what flavor you want. This is the matte black, uh, matte blackout. 
And most of the Valiant 2s also, check the description to know for sure, but most of them come with an extra shield, uh, a smoke exterior shield, in addition to that integrated sun visor and a cool helmet bag and carrying backpack form. So LS2 is known for giving you a lot for your money, five-year warranty, and just really great reviews. We've sold a ton of these Valiant 2s over the past couple of years, solid offering at an affordable price range. Moving on. The new new from Scorpion XO, the GT930. This is a unique helmet in that it transforms not only into a modular helmet, but into a full on open face. So when I flip the top on this guy, you get a modular helmet, right? Just like the rest of them. This one stops at 90 degrees. But if you're feeling that open face vibe, maybe you're out in the countryside and uh, you don't mind losing some protection to get a better vibe, it does have these buttons that allow you very easily to slide this all the way off. So we're going to pop that side, then we're going to get over here, and we're going to pop this off. And now you have an open face helmet, so that whole uh, face shield slash chin bar moves out of your way. You still got your integrated sun visor, and they also include a peak if you want a sun visor, kind of a moto style sun visor on this. The other cool thing about the GT930 is that it is ready to receive comm systems. Uh, I left that out. The LS2 does have speaker pockets, but um, by contrast, the Scorpion has a fully integrated system. It's the Scorpion Exocom, and that's made by Euclear, and that plugs in to this compartment down here below. This just pops out. It's got a battery pack, so it installs in minutes, and it's a pretty affordable price tag. You can buy, it's usually sold separately. You can buy the matte black GT 930 with it pre-installed for 424. Usually this helmet's running about 249 for the solids without the comm system included. That is the GT 930, brand new helmet from Scorpion, but it is uh, a hot pick right now. And we're gonna move on <clears throat> to the most budget friendly, but just ultra high quality uh, offering for that cast. There's not a lot of modular helmets, that come in at that sub $200 price point. And most of them, especially if you get under 100, I mean, you get those uh, Amazon specials for $80 modular helmet, you're gonna be uh, rebuying that pretty quick. So if you're on a budget, find $149 and go with the Z1R Solaris. This thing is time tested. We've sold more of these than any other modular helmet we've ever sold. Again, affordable price point, 149. Z1R is giving you only a one year warranty on that. But really, we've hardly seen any warranty claims on this. And with all the moving parts with the sun visor and the flip up chin bar, that's saying something. So one thing I like about the Z1R Solaris, they're not doing any badging. So they don't paste the big ugly logo on the forehead on the side. And the paint quality is really high. The wine red that you see in front of us, that gold, gold wing wine red is our number one seller as far as colors go. And uh, it's probably hard to tell in in the video, but that metallic, it's a real deep, nice clear coat on this, high paint quality. I'll flip this around too so you can see the profile. Modular, or it's a, a modern design with nice lines on it, and it just fits well. It's a, uh, cut a little bit generous, so it's not you know, a race fit, but go by the sizing chart on all these and you probably won't be steered wrong. Remember, if you buy your next helmet with Speed Addicts, we, we guarantee your fit and we'll actually pay to get the helmet back here if it doesn't work out for any reason, as long as it's new in the original packaging. So head over to speedx.com right now, shop for any one of these awesome modular helmets, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.